2, Module 2 of Grade 2. This module covers chapters 4 to 8. This is where hard begins. So the teaching style here is very different from the teaching style of traditional math. This is where Singapore math will show its face. Okay, so we will start with chapter, uh, chapter 4, Lesson 1. So this is uh, the start of bar models. So the bar models comes in three forms. The three forms are part whole, add on and take away, and the third is comparing bar models. The lesson, lesson one, only covers part whole, but everything is dependent on this lesson. Okay, so I will begin by showing the drawing of a part whole bar model. Okay, so it's also important as we go along with the lessons that we train our kids to be able to identify the bar models being used. Essentially, at the beginning, it's all by lesson, so they'll know right away. But towards the end, they need to be able to tell if it's a part whole, an add-on or takeaway, or a comparing bar model. Okay, so this is our part whole. bar model. Okay, so in essence, there's only one way of drawing it. The drawing is a single bar. This is, let's say, this is part A, this is part B, and this is the whole. So that's why it's call, called part whole. Okay, so this is part A. Okay, and this is part B. Okay, so if it's hard for our kids to draw, let them draw with lines with a bar so that uh, they won't be stressed. Okay, I usually will tell students to put in the name of the characters that go here. But uh, sometimes it's hard for the kids since they're only in grade 2 to write down the whole name. So the first letter is sufficient. Okay, so we have part a, part, B, whole. So if part A is given, part B is given, and this is a question mark. That means this is an addition problem. Okay. If this is given, part A is given, part B is a question mark, and this is given, that makes it a subtraction problem. And finally, if this is the question mark, this is given, part B, and the whole is given, that as well is a subtraction problem. So this is important. This is not taught to the kids. Therefore, it's important that we teach our kids this strategy. Okay, so as examples, we have two problems coming from page 63. So this is problem number one. Okay, I'll read. It says, Helen bought 14 strawberries and Nala bought 17 strawberries. Okay, so the characters are Helen and Nala. So here's Helen, here's Nala. Okay, Helen bought 14 strawberries. Okay, Nala bought 17 strawberries. Okay, the question is, how much did they buy all together? So there's the question. So since we're given a part, and we're given another part, and the whole is missing, that means this is an addition problem. So therefore, again, from the last module, we start with a bigger number. Then we add the smaller number. Okay, then we start with a bigger component, 7, and we add the 4. So when we do, we have... 7 needs a 3, we have an extra one that makes it 11. So which means this is 31. Okay, now when we draw as much as possible, we also want to make it so that the shapes are proportional. So this is not the best drawing, but it will do. Okay, so it takes a little bit of practice, so don't be so hard on your kids. Okay, the second example is number 4. Okay, for number 4, it says, there are 21 mangoes in a box. 
Six mangoes are rotten. How many are not rotten? Okay, so therefore, we have a whole box of 21 mangoes. Six are rotten. So this is six is rotten. And the question is, how many are not rotten? Not rotten. So again, hard for the kids to write rotten. So R is fine. And hard for the kids to even write not rotten. So NR is fine. So we're given the whole. We're given the first part. So we're missing a second part. This will be subtraction. So therefore, the bigger number, 21, is on top minus the 6. Again, what we got to do is count. 11 so because we're gonna borrow and regroup so that's one this will now be 11 so we borrow and we regroup so from 6 we need 4 more to get to 10 and an additional one makes it 5 so this is 5 and 1 so therefore there are 15 not rotten mangoes so again parents it's important that we are able to show our kids how to draw a part whole bar model. It's important for them to be able to identify the parts and the whole. So, and the basis of the equation is dependent on where the question mark is. So if the question mark is on the whole, that's addition. Anything else is subtraction. That concludes lesson one of chapter four. See you in the next lesson.